playing a song of significance for you. Oh, you're right. Yes. Oh, I'm tearing up. Streets of Mexico. <laughs> we'll gaze into the distance. Oh, that's great. I didn't even realize. It's <laughs> yes. my signature song. There it, it is. Yeah. <laughs> we played it for you. Darren Rose back in Calgary. Uh, the comedian will be at Yak Yaks this weekend, warming up with BT first. This is your warm up set. This is my warm up yes. set right now. Yes. Yeah. So. I just came here to take a shot at uh, that guy who went on a date with Eugenie Bouchard. How about that? You're going on a date with one of the ten most beautiful women on earth. I know. Put a collared shirt on. This guy shows up with a hooded sweatshirt. It's not a college bar, buddy. He probably planned his outfit. Oh, he definitely planned like he, his outfit. He thought, he thought that out. He thought it was a great idea. And He's she like, wore oh, she's coat. Gonna, yeah, and yeah. she shows up looking like Puff Daddy in the 90s. <laughs> I thought she's going to be in a, a Rolls Royce with Mace. I know. <laughs> it was, it could like, be opposites attract. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah, that's what he's hoping. Maybe. That's for sure. <laughs> Maybe. There's potential. We believe in love. Okay, uh, I want to talk about your stand up because you're returning to stand up from a variety show series that you just completed in Ontario. Yeah. So it's kind of, uh, is this, like, this feels like back to home, like a little bit easier for you? This is back to home, yeah. I just did this series of shows where uh, it opens with a drum line and then dan a dance troupe comes out and then I dance with the dance troupe and yes. then do stand up and then there's other comics and magicians and. Uh, it ends with a dance number, uh, and now it's just me and a microphone. Right. Uh, which I no feel dancing? is no dancing. No dancing. Aww. I mean, maybe I'll do my little routine. I learned like eight steps. And uh, it took me a week, and uh, it was uh, edging towards competent. Oh. So, so you're not here to impress you. But <laughs> I'm a borderline not awful dancer. <laughs> <laughs> and what kind of what genre of dancing was it? A, like a soft like routine? Like dance hall reggae. Yeah. Yeah. So, so you a like lot to of get hips, down. A lot of a lot of this action. Oh, okay. Yeah. This movie's called Mission Impossible, by the way. Does, oh, that yeah. means something. Oh, yeah, yeah. They, have, they all have names. Like, all, like the dancers, they're like, okay, then we're going to come out of that. We're going to go into a Haley bounce, and then we're going to go into a Mission Impossible. I'm like, yeah, sure. What was your favorite? Uh, uh, just getting through it. Okay, yes. <laughs> As they taught it to me, I was like, all right, I don't know how to do this. Teach me this dance as though you were teaching a dog. Uh, <laughs> And uh, so that's the Break. approximate level of skill I brought to the equation. Break it down. Yeah. Well, one can have aspirations and goals. I hope to see some dance moves here, here in Calgary. I, I think that would be nice. Um, I was reading up on some of the things that you've been up to in your spare time because you obviously have a lot of it. Oh, yeah. And I, I heard you binge watch The Crown. Oh, yeah. Oh, is The that, Crown's the best. Is that a thing for you? You're yeah, interested in The Crown's in the, the greatest. I don't want to sound like uh, a 70 year old lady, but <laughs> ooh, I love it. It's, uh, it's like if Downton Abbey only took place upstairs. Uh -huh. It's just like, it's like we'll be, we're the richest, most famous people on earth. Yes. Uh, it's sort of Queen Elizabeth sort of uh, becoming the queen. Uh, and I just, uh, I did the same thing, so I, I felt like great? it. Yeah, it is. Oh, it is amazing. So I'm happy you liked it, too. And, and also, John Lithgow is amazing as Winston Churchill. Even though Crazy. Winston Churchill uh, looks, he has the sort of the approximate dimensions of a beer fridge, and John Lithgow is like 6'8". And somehow he's perfect. Yeah, it's great. They, I think they made him broader. I he, think so, he yeah. Looks, he looks broader. He looks broad and broken and, like, bulldoggy. Yes. Yeah, it's great. Okay. So, I, now, where do you gather inspo for, for your stand-up? I know there's a bouncy castle bit. Does there's that a bouncy it? castle bit. Also, can we talk about how you just use the word inspo? <laughs> That's great. That's it's a, a hashtag. That's for all the millennials watching out yes, there. Yes, you're We you're don't welcome. even need whole words. <laughs> Forget the crown. Tell me about your inspo. <laughs> my inspo? Uh, mostly I tell hurtful true stories about my family. Mm -hmm. You dig uh, in deep. I dig in deep, yeah. I talk about... Um, I'm doing a bunch of stuff now because for my show uh, in uh, my fun night out, it was yes. near Valentine's Day. Yeah. So I was talking a lot about like dating apps and how awful all that is. Okay. Tinder and Happen and Bumble, all that kind of stuff. Uh, Are you, you on those? Are you married? That? No. You on it? No? no I don't, I, it horrifies me. It gives it's all me, terrible. It gives, yeah, it gives me a stomachache. We're just asking our phones. It's so desperate. We're just asking our phones, like, could you introduce please, me to somebody? Please help me. <laughs> yeah, please help me. What do or you have, Siri? Maybe a Twitter date is. Maybe going a Twitter. To work yeah, out. yeah. Maybe it's uh, it's all so pathetic. It, it could yeah. be any of those things. We're all gonna die alone. Oh anyway, that's God. our message to you at home. Jeez, <laughs> take it to the basement. <laughs> Uh, well, you're very well-rounded. You're obviously a very successful comedian, and uh, we love you on Mr. D as well. And, nice. and now you're almost an accomplished dancer. Do you, find, <laughs> <laughs> do you find that one art form is more difficult than the rest? Because I, I will tell you, I think that comedy is the most difficult job. Uh, 
Well, my friend Simon Rakoff, who's a, who's a comic, has a great line where he says, comedy is less of a job and more of a personality flaw. Ah, uh, flaw? Flaw. You just have to want the attention. Who's is it? flawed? Well, every, uh, everyone I know, uh, everyone who does comedy essentially just got tired of being the funny guy at a party. Right. And it's like, well, how come I have to wait and let everyone else talk? Uh, so you have to really want it so it feels uh, less brave than, yes. say, dancing, which I consider to be the highest and most difficult art form. Brave. It's Mission Impossible. It's Mission Impossible. That's what it is. <laughs> okay, thank you for joining us. A uh, little warm-up set here. Yuck Yucks is the place to be tonight, 7 p.m., Friday and Saturday. There are two shows, an early and a late, at 7 and 10. And our Andrew Schultz, he was that guy that was tired of just telling jokes at the party and no one was listening. Oh, right, Andy? Yeah, I have...